a really good job at that, both of us. And he sees it. If I don't, I let him know. If, and, and if I see it, I let him know. So we really just try to be on the same page at all times. There, there are no guarantees he's back, but he says he's going to try to be back for the bowl game. How good would it be to throw to him one more <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, it would be really fun. I mean, um, our, our last game in, in, in San Antonio, us being seniors, it, it would be a really fun experience if we, if we get to do that. That chemistry, is is that, you know, it, it's easy to try to say, look, look for one game or one practice or something like that where y'all kind of, it clicked and y'all had that. Mm -hmm. Is that something that there was kind of one game or one practice where it kind of clicked and you knew you had something, or is that just a process over um, time? It, it kind of just happened over time. I mean, um, really during the spring, and he, he was out most of the spring, but the days that he were the, the days that he was there, we, we had pretty good practices with him. And, and it kind of just, did like like I said, it developed over time, and I just kept on the ball more and more, and he just kept making more and more plays. So um, that, that, that's really that story right there. Uh -huh. Trey, with that in mind, clearly he's not going to be back for a couple more weeks. How much time do you guys need to have a chemistry together to play a game? Um, um, some that we've been doing all year, but I mean, everything takes <coughs> practice. You, you can't stop. You you try to have to get better at what you're doing and, and perfect your craft. So I mean, um, pretty, if, if he does come back, if he doesn't, I'm pretty sure we'll try to get the work right away. Uh, I mean, kind of, but I mean, everything really takes. It's really all time, and it's um, it's something that you still have to get used to and prepare every week for. Trey, obviously, you leaving a whole lot of talk about who's going to be the guy stepping in after mm -hmm. you've seen all the guys in practice. I'm not asking you to handicap it, but what 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 are the strengths? What do they bring to the table? What's um, impressed you? Um, Foster, he's a he's a pretty big kid, strong arm. He's young. He has so much talent. He can move. He's he's just not standing back there. So I mean, he has a lot of time. Like I said, you can't coach experience, and he he has a lot of time to develop and. And with Kenny, you, you see him play at a &M, so you kind of know what he's, he's about in the game situation. And then um, you, you have more guys stepping in that's probably coming in in the spring. So um, I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm interested to see what happens next year just as well as everybody else. So. With all the Texas guys on this team, a few San Antonio guys, how nice is it to be staying in state? It's an easy trip for you, the fans. All yeah, that um, it's, that's, that's probably one of the best things that, that's probably about this ball game is um, I'm pretty sure we'll see a lot of purple and, and, and we'll know most of the people there. So. Um, the game being so close, and then a couple guys get to go back home. So it's it's always a a, a joy when you get to see that in, in, in your teammates. How did you react to finding out that you'd be playing Oregon? <clears throat> um, it was it was a pretty fun experience. I, I told uh, Brian Kuchar's our equipment man, it's probably going to be a a, a battle of the uniforms just because I know they're probably going to come out with something crazy. So um, I, I'm pretty sure it'll be a fun, exciting game, and, and I'm pretty sure everybody will come ready to play. With the way that y'all's offense was working through most of the season, how much of an adjustment was it in those last couple games that you were in to work without Josh in the offense? Um, it's 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 really um, Coach Cummings and Coach Meacham they do a great job game planning around it, and uh, we just we just try to find ways to get guys the ball, young guys the ball that's been making plays all year, and um, guys like Sean Nix and guys like Turpin and, and, and Jay Stu. So we, you just try to uh, put those guys and implement them in the offense and just try to get those guys the ball to see what they can do. You mentioned Coach Beach and Coach Cumbie. One, that their offense, I mean, you look back at it, mm -hmm. nobody quite knew what their offense was going to bring, but you talked about what it did. And also, I know you've worked a lot with Coach Cumbie. Mm -hmm. you know, as, as he's the quarterback's coach on development, just what he's brought to the table. Yeah, he's he, he's done a lot. They, they, they both have, have done a lot for this team, Coach. Coach Meacham has, has brought the attitude to, towards the offense, and he gives you that uh, that mindset of it, it really doesn't matter who lines up across from you. Just just do your assignment and, and, and win every play. And then and then Cumbie comes in about all teaching things right, and he's he's that guy that he, he gives you that energy and, and that, that intensity on the sideline and at practice is is really just what you need at the at the uh, at the QB position and as an OC. Well, what's Cummings' personality like? Is he just we're gonna, we're gonna stay away from Coach Cummings. <laughs> <laughs> I know we appreciate the effort. <laughs> Given the health issues, so many guys are dealing with. Did it work out that you got one of the later bowl dates, so it gives you a little more? Um, time? Yeah, it, it helped out a lot. I mean, um, trying to just get guys healthy is probably one of the main things this football team needs to focus on. Is to see how many guys we can get back in, and, and get a hundred percent and try to get them on the field because um, we need everybody. Is there any one area of your game that you and the coaches or just you personally thought you should work on this year and that kind of helped you take your game to the next level this year? Um, yeah, I mean, we, we've talked about throwing like a lot of passes over the middle of the field, and, and that's what I try to do more more this year than I did last year. Last year was a lot of outside balls, throwing them uh, to places. But, I mean, when, when you're throwing the ball over the middle of the field, 
Uh, you, you really have to be accurate and, and you have to put some muscle on the ball. So, I mean, uh, that's that's probably one of the things that I worked out a lot this year was just trying to put the ball over the middle of the field and, and complete a lot of passes. I know you're focused on the bowl game, but there's been 